All right, I have recorded this video six times total now. Uh, I think I finally got it right. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a cursor uh, using the real world cursor editor. You can see my mouse moving around on the screen above Aperture Science. Uh, I made that one by myself using a template. Um, I have a set of cursors that I will be making available for download to show you sort of what you can do. Uh, I'll include my current background and a README file on how to install these. I'll briefly review the README after this video. Uh, so let's get this party started. Uh, hop over here, pull open the real world cursor editor. You will probably see this screen the first time around. It looks confusing and stupid, and you're probably looking at this going, How... how, how do I... how do I make the thing... the... the how, how do I... how do I cursors do... how... You just click on these buttons over here. Uh, this pane right here, the customize window tab, uh, makes it very easy to see what mice you have set to what. Uh, today, I'm going to make a working and background cursor. Um, from scratch using a template or using two templates built into the cursor editor software so first thing we'll put this up here make sure it's in the top left corner I think that might come in handy useful come in handy useful come in handy later uh, we'll be making an animated spinning wheel uh, the out I've actually prior to this video I made another one so uh, I'll make one of these because that actually looks a tad bit cooler. Uh, dot count animation smooth this smoothness extremely smooth. Oh yeah, dot count lots of dots. All right, uh, outline color. This changes the outline. Uh, I'll make it a dark blue. Outline width. We can bump that up a bit. Fill color. I'm gonna make that this portal blue. No, I'm not. I'm just going to make it a type of blue. There we go. And that is that. We'll hit OK, and it will make a bunch of frames. Oh, that's, that does not spell good for us. Never mind. I'll make a smaller animation. This guy, uh, shape size, section count. We'll do four sections for ease of visit editing. Why doesn't... Someone keeps turning off my number lock. No, they don't. It's just you gotta use the slider. That's silly. Oh, five. Smallest valid number is five. All right. A shape size changes the size of the shape. I inner size. This makes it look more or less like a donut. So I'll put it back at 60. Uh, outline color. Let's see dark red, fill color, sort of an orange, active color, sort of a bright yellow? Yeah, that looks okay. That looks okay. Uh, outline width, just like last time, changes the width of the outlines. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull it down. And it'll make this thing right here. Uh, this is all five frames. You can click on them to manually cycle through them, or you can watch the preview. Uh, you can also see it over here, and you can test out the active draw spot, which is in the middle, which is exactly what I didn't want it to do. So I'll go ahead and put the uh, active draw spot, the hot pixel as, what, what do they call it? Cursor hotspot. Uh, I'll call it a hot pixel because that's what it is. You're assigning it to a pixel. Alright. And it draws up in the upper left hand corner 100% of the time now. I will grab this select tool and click on the gray area, hit control A to select everything and this is simply how I do it. Um, it's not too fancy it's just it just it, just, it works. Uh, whenever you do this if you do this you will need to click on the frame that you want to edit and then click in the editing window and then hit control A to select everything 
and then resize it. Uh, if you don't do that, this is what happens. I click once on the window, and I hit Control A, and it selects all of these slides because it still thinks that I'm wanting to do something with them. So you have to click up here in the window first before you resize. All right, all of the mice are small now. Uh, they all have the same active draw point. We will now be adding a cursor uh, to match this theme. So fill color, secondary fill. It's pretty close, I believe. Pretty close is a pretty close guess. Uh, outline, no outline, so it doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and make that like transparent or something. Uh, we can do whatever to this. Actually, actually, cancel. I don't want to do that just yet. I want to light this thing on fire. And animation steps. So, does it still blink after this? But that's a lot of steps. So we'll make it 10. Well, it needs to be something divisible by 5. 10. Stay on fire. Stay on fire. Never mind. No fire. Uh, we don't get fire today. Uh, these are easy buttons to use to animate a little bit. Um, for my portal arrow theme, I made a burning lemon, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so for this, we will change the fill color to a type of orange and the secondary color to a type of yellow. And we'll hit OK. And we'll get this guy right here. But as you notice, it's only on one of the frames. So we'll grab our select tool. It's actually still selected, so I'll just keep using it. Uh, select the whole mouse. Copy it with Control C or right click if you like and then you don't have to click on the gray bit you just have to go through each one and paste it you can use control V for that so up here in the preview window you can see that you have a mouse the active dot is in the middle I will go ahead and practice drawing with this that's pretty nifty and here you have a working mouse but as you can see it's not set to the current mouse so what you can do go up here to file save as. Uh, I'm going to name it orange working dot Annie. Um, the reason I named it like this is to match Windows's nomenclature. If you notice they have all their arrows and I made one earlier uh, and I, I named mine portal um, because these are the animated ones. Uh, the reason it's not showing me all of these is because I'm wanting to save it as an animated one so it's only showing me the ones that are animated uh, so I'll hit OK say yes to the administrator permission uh, it didn't show that on my screen recorder because I don't know why uh, I'll go to customize now this is one of two ways that you can do it restart the program and click on the customize tab find working in background hit this little file folder go over here type in the name orange working and you'll see that it changes uh, we will hit apply all or you can just push this one apply button I'll go back to my desktop uh, I'll go back to my desktop uh, there we go uh, this guy right here he just so happens to cause a little bit of lag in the uh, working in background so you'll see it for just a moment watch carefully as my mouse changes briefly to the working in background um, you can further verify that we have the right mouse by going to change mouse pointers going to the pointers tab and then clicking on working in background you can see that it currently views this mouse right here in the preview window as the working in background <clears throat> that's good that's what we were going for. Uh, but I don't like it, so I'm going to change it back to my portal theme. So I'm going to go to portal working. Dang it, nab it. Portal working dot ani. And it changes it to this. 
you can't see it very well whenever I highlight this because it's about the same color as the rest of it but this is the preview if the preview says it's right that's perfectly fine by me so we'll hit OK and that will automatically apply everything and we can come back over here and if we refresh this you'll see that it's changed um, oh, nope. that is all there is to making a simple animated cursor with this specific program um, there is a dropper to select a specific color you can either click on this or you can hold down control while you have your draw tool selected so if you'll see we're drawing in black right now but if I press down on control I can draw an orange. Uh, these three buttons change where you draw. If you paint over, use this opacity meter to sh see how much of whatever is underneath it shows. You'll see that I'm drawing a tad bit opaque. Uh, if I overlap it, it gets darker. I have to release the mouse before it gets darker though. And if I draw over anything else, it just makes it a tad bit darker in respect to the orange. Uh, this changes with how much opacity I have so if I make it more opaque it gets darker if I make it completely opaque it completely replaces everything if I do replace it's most noticeable whenever I do smaller opaques but you'll see that and it's sort of clearing it out might look like it's clearing it out with with it that clearing it out with a tint that's just the replace feature replacing all the pixels with exactly what's on your palette over here uh, draw under uh, if I put this on maximum opacity and click on my blue portal color it'll draw underneath the transparency which is actually pretty interesting um, I think that, that works out very nice uh, but it makes it no longer transparent it makes it completely opaque because I had it a tad bit opaque to begin with but if I keep drawing over the same spot it keeps getting darker if I keep applying this opaque uh, slight opacity so uh, you'll see that it's messing with my preview over here and this is the basics of how to make your own mouse um, it's gonna ask me if I want to save and I'm gonna say no uh, they have a pretty nifty tutorial over here actually on how to make an animated water drop cursor uh, you just click on that it'll take you to a YouTube page and no well you can see the link down there in the bottom left it takes it to RW designer um, it's actually very handy he, he taught me some cool stuff but it's still not enough for me to do my own work. Uh, you can modify an, an existing cursor, but the problem that I've found is that these are 64 by 64, and I don't know how to modify these, because as you can see, the previews are different, so you can't right click on these, I have no clue what's going on. Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's that's how to make your own pointers in a nutshell. Uh, oh, it says up here multiple formats. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Uh, and about this folder here that I'm going to uh, put up for download. Uh, it's the background, this current background. I took a screenshot while I was playing uh, Portal and just blacked out the corners. Oh, whoop, that's not what I wanted. Uh, you might have noticed something a tad bit unusual. My title bar is white. That's, that's not normal for most Windows users, and I'll go over why it's white. Uh, I had a black background and I wanted it to be a black or dark theme so I went around looking on the internet for ways to make this white and I found out that if you have the pack here the theme 
from this URL, I'll go ahead and copy it and go there. Let's go. Uh, you'll see that his bars are white. Um, his title bars, the, the titles on his bars are white. Goodness. I can't speak. Um, it works very well with my system. Uh, nobody's come knocking on my door with a federal badge. Uh, my house is not burned down. Uh, Anonymous has not contacted me. Um, my computer is still alive. It has not broken down yet. I think that this is actually pretty nifty. Uh, but that's not all. This is just part of it. This is just the theme that you use. You actually have to go to uxstyle.com, so I'll go ahead and take you there. uxstyle.com and depending on what operating system you have you will want to click on one of these I used Windows 8 so I downloaded the Windows 8 uh, you run it it takes forever while it's running that you can download the grim theme and apply well you can't apply it yet uh, after after UX style is finished uh, and you've installed this into the C Windows resources themes directory then you can restart your computer and hit customize, select the Grim, and then do whatever. If you want to do a portal theme like this, you will do the optional steps first. Um, that's, that's my only recommendation, is that you do the portal steps after the optional UX style steps. Uh, and again, my computer is still working just fine. Just fine. So, if you liked this video, if you found it useful, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, please don't leave a like because I told you to leave a like. Leave a like because you liked this video. Uh, this is my first real tutorial, so I want to make sure that I'm doing something right. If you found this useful, let me know what you found useful. Uh, if you didn't like this video, go ahead and hit that dislike button. It'll probably grab my attention. And then leave a comment down in the comments about what I did wrong. Um, I can't fix things that I don't know that I did wrong. So please let me know. And if you feel that this tutorial was something along your style, if you thought it was easy and something that applied to you, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button um, it's free and if you decide later on that you don't want to be subscribed to me you can always hit the unsubscribe button so that is that's all really that's that's my video done so I will see you guys later bye bye